Spotes, you might, or you probably won't know me from um, uh, my channel on YouTube. But yeah, this is me and St. Cloud's, or St. Cloud and I's, uh, PL Upward map review. We're going to show you offense, uh, defense, hopefully offense, uh, if I ever stop being lazy. Um, <laughs> and uh, basically how to defend, get out of situations, best spots. But you can always experiment yourself and find what's best for you. I typically run Rescue Ranger and Stalk Wrench to get out of situations easily. And, you know, heal your sentry when you're out, uh, getting your teleporter up. So, first things first, and then you can spawn here. Get this out. I'd like to run out kind of sideways like this, and then hold down the mouse button so it auto, it auto builds. You know, I'm you know, just gonna run over here. Uh, typically, if you're in competition, competition, yeah. If you're in uh, competitive, your teammates will um, suicide over here for you, give you a hundred metal each. But you know, if you're in a if you're in a pub, that's obviously not going to happen. So, running down here, set up your sentry. I like to set it up here. Run up, grab this hundred metal, set up your dispenser. Dispenser going up. By then, should be up. Uh, remember, metal management try to conserve your metal don't don't waste metal on things like uh, say if I have like a hundred metal left I shouldn't be going and getting a 200 metal pack set up your exit I like to set it up there you can set up there um, in this little grass stuff right here bush or over here but that's the quickest way um, with the suicide you should be able to have enough metal but obviously I'm alone so no suicides for me. You want to get your, I'd say, sentry to level two first, teleporter to level two, and then from there distribute it evenly until they both get around level three. You can get your dispenser up to level two uh, later. It's not going to be too crucial in the beginning. I mean, if your team can hold over there, good enough, it won't be too crucial. But I'll, I'll explain the sentry spot. Oh, it's a bit in a weird spot. I should move that forward a bit. Um, Alright. So you got it up. I like to put it right on the edge right there. Um, you, this requires a lot of team communication. You need to have your team communicating, telling you uh, when people are coming up here. A well-placed sniper and soldier, or just a well-placed sniper, or just a well-placed well placed anything could easily take out your sentry gun right here in a few hits. And especially, especially with the rain gardener being able to heal us damage, that's a problem. You know, and by then your sentry's down, so... You wanna be careful of that, um... I'm oh shit. This. <laughs> hey, uh... I've seen some people put it here. That's experimental though, I've seen some put it here, but that could be easily be taken out by a demo man. This is where you'll see everyone in pubs doing it, but that's fairly easy to take down. This this general area, I like to put it right there. Uh, be careful in the beginning when you're going to heal your dispenser, because I don't know where a soldier will pop out and I take out your entire sentry gun in like five seconds. So you need to you need to be careful of your rescue and try to heal it. Heal it. Yeah. <laughs> um, spies will probably come around there. Um, a lot of times the spies decoy up here, so you want to watch out. That's why I don't use the jack, especially in competitive um, in this situation, because you're going to need two hits to take it out. And if you're running a jag, you're defenseless. This is a cool, not a weapon. Uh, jag will take three hits because random crits are off by default. So, you know. And right after a few minutes, um, your the uber combo other side will come in. Probably through around here. I've seen some come back there though. Uh, and Syncod will show you how to escape from that and move on to your next point. All right, so. Now we have to talk about how to back out of the spot, and it's a little interesting. You're basically going to want to watch for any spam coming over in this area, and when they pop the Uber. So, Uber typically pops either over the stairs and continues into this area here where it can pretty much easily spam the gun, or sometimes it'll come around tracks. It really depends on what they're going for. Um, most of the time it's on the demo, it can be heavy sometimes, and soldiers don't even need Uber to spam out this gun. I mean, if you look at the range of it, it can't quite reach over uh, all the way there, so you know, you have to be careful of spam. 
It does have a good range though watching out on the other side, so you should be fine there. I've never seen combo come down here, but anything can happen really. So when that happens, you're going to want to start backing up here, and they're obviously going to focus your gun at some point if they want to get it down, unless your team is very coordinated and your pyro happens to blast them back. So what you're going to want to do is get around this area, watch out for snipers over here, and watch out for spies on cloaking around here or even behind you to uh, get your gun. So you're just going to want to make sure you have 100 metal, and you're just going to basically teleport the gun to you, and you're going to run away to the next point. If you didn't happen to get the gun or the gun goes down too early, if your dispenser is visible, take that with you instead. It's w very valuable for setting up on the next point since it gives you all that metal and whatnot. So yeah, just make sure you kind of come over here and then drop your gun in the next spot. And we'll go back to Spodes for those spots. Alright, assuming you escaped well and you know, you're living all is well. Bring us I'm up here. This. Next spot is right over here. If you do this right, if you set it at the right location, it's gonna take a bit of time practice to get it right, but um if you do it right Packing up right around here, let's say. Is that how wanna Okay, let's just assume that I have it in the right place. But if you do it right, then the barrels it's obviously not doing it now, but um the barrels of the turret will uh, peek over just enough to be able to take out anyone coming up here and coming up here. Um, right now it's not, but it should be. It'll be harder for people to hit it because they have the giant hill in the way. It'll kind of look like this to them. They'll be able to be hit, but it'll, they'll have a hard time hitting you. Um, it's kind of hard for them to cap second if you know if you're holding up here fairly fairly well, because right here they'll get uh, choked and easily killed in there. But if they do manage to get over, oh yeah, um, forgot to mention, put your dispenser over here, teleporter, doesn't really matter, you can put it right there, considering you can spawn and walk out anyway. I'm moving this. Next spot, you know, the meta, right here. That was getting hit. Just stop anyone from coming over, anyone peeking out over from the cliff can be shot at, in there. Spies will typically decloak around here, come up, try and sap it. Uh, you're going to want to set up your dispenser right around here. Going up. And uh, there you go. It's kind of hard to hold this as well. I've seen it done though. Um, yeah, if that doesn't work, well, this, prob this should work. This is a fairly good spot. A lot of people use it. It's kind of expected. Demo men might peek, up, peek out from over there, but it'd be use this well yeah the splash damage should get him um i've seen okay let me bring this over here oh when you're trying to hold this point i've seen sigafu uh let's assume your team's holding the top area fairly well i've seen sigafu come over here and place the sentry right here in one of his matches um it worked fairly well uh you can leave it there pretty good choke point it's kind of hard for them to get you considering they have to aim up uh you know and then set up your dispenser right here. The spies have to crouch jump over to get over. Over there, they might still be able to get over there, so watch out. Uh, it really depends on where your team's holding. If your team's holding down here fairly well, then you can put your sentry above. But if your team's holding above well, you can put your sentry... Um, you can put your sentry down there, right? So again, here you're saying cloud with the escape method for this next point. Alright, so we're back again on second point here, and now let's talk about how to get out. So, you're gonna have to watch for Ubers, obviously, or snipers too. They can come over here, snipers do. Now, where the combo normally goes, and they're gonna spam you out, is either right around this corner, which is pretty hard to see it coming because of that, or even worse, up in this little window here. So, that's one point that Spode said you get some spam from. He's absolutely correct. Spam does come from up here. And it's good if you have your gun in a spot where it can kind of wrangle up in there, but not quite get hit as easily. So what you're going to want to do is really keep coordinated here and make sure you know about when they're going to pop. And just because you can't really, you know, the quote-unquote tickets to save anymore, you're going to have to be a little bit smarter here. So you're going to want to start backing up to this area and be mindful of spies, they do come up the staircase sometimes. And you're just going to want to save either your gun or your dispenser depending on which one is available. Gun first probably, 
but you know, if all else fails, then just get the center and hack out of there. Uh, but the gun is pretty much the best one to take, so take that first if you can. And then just simply back through this area here. Unless their flank soldier is really doing some work, you will probably be uncontested moving back. Just, you know, watch out. Maybe have a teammate come with you to be sure. Pyro preferably. And then just plop your gun down on whichever the next spot is. So we'll get back to Spodes for that spot. Alright, point three. This is where blue spawn will get switched to right there, if they cap this, that is. Uh, you're going to want to set up your sentry somewhere along the tracks. I've seen it right there, or a bit further back. Dispenser around here. Might want to set up your teleporter over here. Um, that is, if they're being aggressive, they already, they already have the car rolling up around here. Uh, if you get that to level three, you decide to take people out. You can cover there, covers there, covers there. Pretty safe here, except for maybe spies. Backing up. Uh, this is something personal that I've done. I've never seen anyone actually do this, but um, yeah, uh, I've set up my sentry right over here before. People typically come up up here. We'll be taken out. People from over there will be taken out. You can put it. Basically, you have to set up your sentry in a way that see it kind of peeks over. People can take you out from over by the bridge so um not the bridge but whatever that thing is um but uh yeah your team should be able to handle that but if blue team's being aggressive they got their card up to there you want to get this up to level three on, here wrangle it yeah okay so here we are on third and let's actually i haven't put down the gun yet but let's say we had it over here that was getting heavy. wherever you want to put it you can put it on tracks obviously like we did you can put it around this area just make sure it can somewhat spam out the cart but basically, what you're gonna kinda wanna do here is if you happen to go down and that last move up, there's a nice little trick you can do. And you can do this if you save the gun too, but it just works better if you already died. Obviously dying is not preferable, but if it happens, it happens. So deal with it in this way. You're gonna wanna get a good last hold because that's a way better hold than third. So I'd invest in it if I were you. I do that by putting a teleporter exit right up there. And then just plopping down an entrance, maybe around here normally. Just make sure your teammates don't go through it. I've seen some of mine do that. It's kind of funny. But, um, yeah, you just basically kind of keep your gun in this area. And make sure, as always, you have like 100 metal with you so you can easily take your gun. Watch out because snipers will come up on this little ramp over here. And will totally negate this strategy. You can't die for any of this to work. And that's pretty much your job as an NG, is not to die. So... You're just going to want to spam out the uh, thing for as long as you can. And if they're about to cap it, and there's nothing you or your teammates can do to stop it, then you would just be better off moving right back here, up. taking your gun, moving through this telly, and boom, you're ready that to set good. up on the next point. The nice thing is, if you don't have 100 metal like I do right now, you can just destroy your teleporter exit for 60 extra metal. So, that's a bonus. But, uh, yeah, it just makes it a lot easier on your team because you'll have a level 3 set up on last and you're ready to deal with any incoming spam. And you can obviously, again, put this exit telly wherever you want, and it's fully optional, but it's just a good way. If you're not using the exit telly strategy, then it's a little bit more difficult to get upstairs. From taking your gun, you have to go all the way here and essentially just run up this area here. Ooh, yeah crouch jump <laughs> and then yeah you just plop it down there but you could save so much time by doing this and your teammates really don't need a teleporter on this point since it's a pretty close walk they can do it it's not that bad but um yeah it's just it's pretty simple and it will save you a lot of time and a lot of pressure and it will really help you contest last very well so why don't we go back to spodes for what he thinks we should do on this last point all right now you're on your final point this this is where it gets very, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I've seen this point last for over 10 minutes, and, uh, hold it till the very end, so, this is pretty crucial, okay, there's two or three different locations for this one, right here, obviously, the sentry spot, Building a sentry. I typically set up my sentry here, maybe put my dispenser in this doorway, or this hall, 
Uh, I still have the rescue ranger, you know. And heal it, peek over. That's that's the basic. Everyone does this. Um, take out anyone over there. Assuming it's level three, you have the rockets. But uh, however, I've seen it easily taken down by a good soldier. Peek, shoot, peek, shoot, peek, shoot, and it's down. It's gonna take more shots than that, but you get the point. So another place I've seen is over here. I've seen, I saw Sigafu do this in the same match that I was talking about. Right around there, I think. Uh, get your dispenser, set it up. If you set it up here, right, spies won't be able to get... Over, a dispenser. Yeah, okay. See, spies will completely be unable to get over. Try as they might. So a spy will typically stab or sh sap or shoot this. Try and get up. I will make this up to level 3 to wrangle it better. Um, the one disadvantage about this though is that Demo Man can get up there, shoot some stickies, and it's down. Uh, and also snipers might be able to peek out from over there. That's why you need to have the Wrangler again. So that's pretty much the only holds for this. I've seen some experimental ones, but they don't really work as good. Um, I forgot to mention, uh, if you put a dispenser in this doorway in a sentry there, a good spy will be able to hop on up here and jump over. See, so this is kind of dangerous. Um, right here, last point, you can switch to... Alright, I guess I'm over here then. Um, let me there we go. Last point, you can switch to shotgun if you need to uh, get rid of spies and whatnot. And if, and I've seen a lot of Uber pushes here, so I don't know if Jag is the best idea. Um, it'll probably get taken out quickly. I like to go stalker and cheer. You know, uh, do that. Yeah, that's pretty much the basics for this. Last point, um, there are some experimental ones, but uh, that's pretty much what you want to do.